Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be your weekly reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Leo. Uh, not Leo, Libra. I'm so sorry. Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Alright, Libra. This is going to be for the 17th through the 23rd of December 2018 for you. So, Spirit, what do you have for Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs of Libra? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Libra. All right. We are ready, you guys. Give me just a second, Libra, to get your cards out, and then we will go through them. Beautiful. That is so nice. Very, very nice. All right, you guys. See what we have here all right from the bottom of the deck well I tell you what this card right here has been making an appearance I swear in every sign so I um this is the Prince of Pentacles slow moving energy you guys feeling like things need to hurry up or time is not moving fast enough for you I will uh, talk about this further though I'm gonna go ahead and pull an energy Oracle for you guys as well to get further clarification of your reading. So, Spirit, this is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Libra. Spirit, what do you have for Libra for the 17th through the 23rd, December 2018? Door to Spirit. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, Libra, I'm going to go ahead and pull a Life Purpose card as well for you. For further clarification. All right, Spirit, what do you have for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Libra for the 17th to the 23rd of December 2018? Thank you, Spirit. All right. And you guys, we have trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Libra. Libra, give me just a moment to take a quick look at your cards. All right. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with your energy oracle. Um, some of you may be going through a, a spiritual awakening right now, Libra. And this could be new beginnings of... Uh, New beginnings on a new path, maybe, um, of a spiritual path, possibly. This is an awakening card, though. You see, you see all the orbs, and you see this beautiful spirit angel just lighting the way to spirit for you guys. So, this is very nice, and I feel like this also comes into play with this. Um, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. I really feel like for many of you, this new beginning of a spiritual awakening, you have all the the intuitive um, and, and inner guidance and your angels are telling you, trust the decisions that you make as well. Uh, you, you have that and you have angels and spirit is with you, helping you. The divine is helping you on your path. Um, right off the bat, um, let me, this, if any of you had a, a question before you started watching the video that you wanted a yes or no answer to, you, you've got a big fat yes right here. Okay, so the situation of the week, you have the, the sun card, okay? Like I said, this can represent a yes to a question you may have had. Uh, Libra, this is just beautiful. This is happiness. This is clarity. This is joy. This could be a birth, possibly, of a new child as well. This could also be the birth of your spiritual awakening that you're having, okay, uh, as well. Now, uh, with your overall energy, like I said, this, this guy right here, this Prince of Pentacles, I swear has popped out in just about all of my readings. Okay, uh, this is slow-moving energy. You may feel like things are not moving uh, fast enough. Or it could be that this is the way that you're wanting or that you're... Uh, that you're thinking uh, this may not be that it's moving too slow for you. This may be just exactly the way you want it to move is what I'm trying to say, Libra. 
or you could be possibly have a Taurus or a Virgo or Capricorn. Uh, this could be maybe a rising or moon sign for some of you uh, Libras too as well. I feel like that uh, time may be just moving so slow, right? Um, and like I said, some of you could be uh, waiting on a child to be born as well. And the reason why I'm saying that is down here, um, your new circumstance is the lady, uh, the Empress. Empress, it, She's the Empress in uh, other tarot decks. In this deck, she's the lady. This is the mother um, as well. She represents fertility, you know, bringing birth and giving birth to ideas as well. All right. So, and, and like I said, you could be dealing with the Leo as well. This also represents possibly a birth of a child. Now, when we look up into what's going on, um, what you're thinking about, um, this is, uh, this really goes back to this spiritual awakening i feel like the, this new beginning of a spiritual awakening for you guys you could be dealing with the cancer scorpio or pisces i really feel like this is what's going on in your mind you have this nurturing energy going on this loving uh very emotional energy that you're you're feeling very intuitive this is a very intuitive uh very loving nurturing uh queen here like I said, some of you may be waiting to have a child, or to, you may be pregnant and you're waiting. Um, I feel like it's going to happen very quickly, though. Uh, the reason why I say that, you have the tower here, and this is this is a good tower, you guys. I feel like this has to do, and I, I'm getting nothing but good good vibes here. Um, I really feel like this is a major life-changing experience and when you have a child it is and you know whenever you go into labor whether it's your first child or your third or fourth it's uh, it's a very exciting it's very life-changing and it, it's uh, an experience that it changes your life you know having a child and giving birth to a child so i i really do feel like or uh, for many of you, you could be finding out you're pregnant, and it's very life-changing for you as well. Now, this this is your subconscious. This is what's uh, driving you. You may not be aware of this yet. This could be, like I said, some of you might just now be finding out that you're pregnant. If this does not have to do with pregnancy, I feel like this is coming into play here. I feel like maybe some of you have lost a job, or you're thinking of, quitting a job and moving to on to a new job or applying for something that maybe you're having doubt about maybe you feel like you're not qualified enough maybe you feel like possibly you maybe you quit a job and you know and now you're you're trying to you know it's it's been life-changing for you and you haven't quite got that job yet that you was wanting to get like your angels are telling you Trust your feelings and your dreams to guide you to guide your career path. Do not let this shake you up or, you know, sometimes we have to make life decisions and the, you know, the, the structure has to come crumbling down because it wasn't built on a firm foundation to begin with, right? So, Libra, I really feel like this is not a tower that's going to like literally going to be shocking in this if this has to do with career, you already know that this is something that needs to be um, dealt with and changed in, you know, a different foundation that is built on something long-lasting, that's stability, that's strong, that has a firm foundation, right? Not something that was shaky, that wasn't, that wasn't built on a firm foundation, literally. In your recent past, we have the Eight of Swords here, and this is like getting out of your head. You, you've had a hard time taking uh, the blindfold off, and I feel like you got the blindfold off. This is just a past energy that you were carrying around with you. Um, there go That goes back to this tower here, uh, possibly wanting to switch jobs, um, stressing out about it, worried about it, worrying about maybe not getting that job, um, maybe feeling like, Oh, God, why did I quit this job? I may not even get this one. And, I, the, you know, the angels are telling you, you've got it in the bag, Libra. It's going to happen. You may have already switched jobs, and now 
you know, it, it's just, it's a major, whenever you switch careers or change jobs, quit one, move on to another one, that is a life-changing uh, situation, okay? It's starting a new cycle. It's life-changing. Um, I, I really feel like it's working out in your favor because, I mean, this was the past energy and I, I really feel like it's, look at this, you have a yes, you have the universe saying yes, yes, Libra. It's a go. You you did the right thing. You inti instinctively, intuitively made the right decision, right? And now you have the lady here at the, you know, as a new circumstance. This is very fruitful card right here. A very there's a lot of abundance with this card. The choice you made was, like I said, a big fat yes, Libra. This is abundance, major abundance. Okay, if this isn't the birth or of a child or or finding out that you're pregnant, shocking, you know, that you're pregnant. This is the decision that you made on this job. It's going to lead you down the road to complete abundance, okay? You're very fruitful right here. Very fruitful. This, you know, and this new spiritual awakening, very fruitful. It's going to lead you to abundance, okay? It's going to... You have so much abundance and divine being divinely led here because a lot of people freak out about the tower card, but it, this is not a situation where it's a negative, negative shock, a negative tower. This is, you know, when the tower shows up, the universe had, you know, had to rearrange some stuff because the, the, this structure had to come down, right? What it's telling you is you're sitting here pretty with the situation as the sun, right? So, this, you know, this decision the universe has helped and played a part in has, it's in, I mean, it's a wonderful decision. It's a wonderful outcome. It's something, you may have been stuck in a way of thinking or a way of a job that wasn't good for you, but maybe you uh, wasn't thinking outside the box and the universe shook it up for you. It was like, hey, it's time to think outside the box. Let's. You're, you're better than this. You can do better than this. And let me show you. And that's exactly what's happened here, Libra. You, you've got exciting, exciting, exciting outcome here. Very abundant, full, very uh, fruitful. This is just a beautiful all-out reading right here. And for those of you finding out that you're pregnant, congratulations. And congratulations on the birth of a new child. Um, it's, like I said, major life cycles. And... Big fat yes, you guys, if you had a question. Thank you so much, Libra. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching my readings. This has been a blessing for me uh, to be able to do these. And I just want you to know how much I really do appreciate you guys. And I, I send you all the wishes and love and blessings from my heart. And I thank you so much. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you, Libra. Bye-bye.